Hello, this is Will Suter from Azo Nano, and today we're talking to Hartmut Stadler from Brooker. He's going to tell us about the Bioscript Catalyst AFM. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so what you see here is an AFM which can be combined with an inverted optical light microscope. The idea of this is to um, really get information from the optical side, which is chemistry, biochemistry, um, or to help the AFM to be guided to the right location. Big applications for this are of course in biology, life science, and one example we see here is uh, imaging of cells. Um, you can see here more or less the optical image, um, the active image here. You see the system scanning over the area with some cells. You can see here some cancer cells um, which are in a petri dish on a glass surface and we are now just looking at this with the optical microscope um, and additionally you can see here the, the AFM cantilever which scans across them and um, if uh, one wants to get the combined information you can more or less load both uh, images into one and then you have here the overlay of the two data sets and we are using here as well a special mode a new imaging mode which is called a peak force tapping mode um, this allows additionally to measure mechanical parameters like the stiffness of the cell um, modulus information or as well adhesion information and we can make this as well um, visible if we for example choose here the mechanical data as overlay and then you can correlate as well optical data with here modulus information so this gives a wide variety of um, information which are interesting to for example look at disease mechanisms um, to look as well as at, a, as at affinity and and other experiments okay maybe I can show as well a few um, thoughts about the system itself you can can see that here um, this part basically integrates into the optical microscope. This is the, the scanner, this is the AFM head. Um, I will withdraw now the AFM from the sample and I can then show a little bit the parts. It's maybe as well interesting to take a look. So all this is an optical microscope. Here's an, um, one example of the suppliers we support, but um, it can be integrated to basically every standard inverted optical microscope. So I'm now taking off the AFM head. So this is this part. And one can see here this big opening, which allows to bring in the condenser of the optical microscope. The condenser is this part. Um, and this is important if you want to do transmitted light techniques um, face contrast microscopy or DIC which is as well interesting for the life science applications for uh, imaging cells so this is the AFM head and here we can see the scanner and the mounting of the sample so in this case you you see we clamp that here with a, a magnetic clamp and here's the petri dish with a cells and you can see here as well different other openings for other sample types like glass lights so this is really streamlined for this typical samples from life science one point for uh, the combination with the optical microscopy is of course the laser light we're using uh, a laser to detect the cantilever movement and this can disturb of course uh, optical with optical experiments so we are using here an infrared laser which is out of the visible range and um, that has one disadvantage that it's a little bit more difficult to handle an infrared laser is not visible so we are using here some help for that 
Um, this is an, what we call the Easy Align Station. More or less, it's a small simulation of the experiment. We bring the cantilever into the liquid we are working in. And um, you can now see here as well this blue spot. This is the laser beam. And we can now use this more or less to align here the laser. And this as well makes the experiment more simple and streamlined. So basically that's um, the basic setup of a catalyst. There are as well some options which are interesting if you want to study, for example, living cells. You want to keep them alive. And for that we have a perfusion chamber, so biologists uh, know that uh, they need to keep the right temperature, need the right buffer, the gas atmosphere above it. And um, that's here a simple, quite simple but very effective design. You can recognize here as well this uh, sample holder, that's the same inset we have on the base and um, the opening for the optical micro um, microscope which comes from below. You can place here um, more or less uh, this, the sample with a petri dish and um, then you just um, can attach here this part from top and you can uh, then have um, um, fully closed environment so this fixes it and then you can add um, ceiling or cover and the cantilever comes from above it's a yeah, few seconds assembly can be kept sterile as well so um, it's um, perfect for keeping cells alive for a long time and um, yeah, it, as well then, if you want to, for example, measure some long-term changes in the mechanical parameters, this is the, the right item which can be then attached to the catalyst. Okay, Great. so far, short introduction yeah. on to the catalyst. I hope it's an interesting instrument for this type of uh, applications. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much, Hartman.